So welcome back to Bitcoin for Humans. I just realized I've been on the road for a few days and haven't really had any, any time to, to look into any of the videos. So I thought I'd knock one out after a post swim today. Um, so the thing I was gonna cover was just around debt. So one of the, the trends I've been tracking for a while from a Bitcoin point of view has been uh, currency, sovereign currency defaults. So if it's correct to believe that a lot of currencies are gonna start collapsing back into the dollar and that we think that in turn the dollar may also be on precarious ground and could hyperinflate at some point, then what you'd expect to see is lots of different smaller countries defaulting on their debt ahead of time. Uh, one of the ways that you would measure that is in the credit default swap market, so made famous back in the global financial crisis. Uh, what you saw recently is the, the Egyptian um, credit default swap market has just gone absolutely parabolic. The levels it's not seen since I think it was 2010 to 2012 when Mubarak was replaced and there's massive civil unrest in the streets. So it's very likely that off the back of the war in uh, Russia and Ukraine and the impact it's going to have on wheat prices that this is going to cause um, a default in Egyptian debt. So that's that's bad obviously very bad for the people in in Egypt there but it's something to be aware of that we're seeing more and more of these smaller countries. So we've seen obviously like Venezuela, Lebanon, Turkey have all had issues recently where their, their currency has just been going to the absolute dogs. So this is also true of Russia. <laughs> you know, I guess it's, again, like it's been a, a very long, short week <laughs> as it is with um, the ruble absolutely tanking as well. Now it's not to say that that's the sort of thing that is just wholly impacts that one market you know just because we see debt going through the floor in, um, in Egypt and we see the same in, in Russia we shouldn't be thinking oh I don't live in Russia and Egypt you know a lot of pension funds would own Russian equities and Russian debt a lot of they might own some exposure into emerging markets they might and they might have picked up something around Africa so it's it's not always what it appears and on first blush so when you see things like this going going out of control this is big news uh, don't take on any leverage but you know sit tight and hopefully if you've got some bitcoin you're kind of prepared for a long run version of this but anyway peace out